What an anticlimactic meet for the Caribbean! The Athletissima Diamond League in Lausanne, Switzerland delivered some surprising moments for the Caribbean as the 2022 athletics season heads towards a climactic finish with two more Diamond League competitions remaining. The meet was shaping up to be one of the best meets of the Wanda Diamond League, but things did not go exactly as planned for some athletes. Over this past season, Caribbean athletics fans were spoiled by record-breaking performances, new personal best, and record-breaking performances from some of the sport's biggest Caribbean stars, and for this meet, expectations were very high. The meet began with the women's 400 meters hurdles, with the Jamaican trio of Geneve Russell, Rochelle Clayton, and Andronette Knight, along with world and Olympic champion Dalila Muhammad of the United States and European champion Femke Bowl of the Netherlands. The race was quite a fiery one, as Femke Bowl continued her undefeated Diamond League season and won the race in a meeting record of 52.95 seconds, with Russell and Knight in second and third respectively, with times of 53.92 seconds and 54.33 seconds. Clayton fell on the first hurdle around the curve and was unable to finish the race, while Mohammed was seventh in 56.03 seconds. In the women's 100 meters hurdle sprint, Olympic champion Jasmine Camacho Quinn of Puerto Rico managed to continue her undefeated Diamond League season by pulling away from Nigerian world record holder Toby Amusa to win in a new meet record of 12.34 seconds to erase the 12.40 seconds done by America's Gail Devers in 2002. Women's 100 meter hurdles. And over the first hurdle quick, that's Jasmine Camacho Quing. Then the center of the picture, Brittany Anderson to the inside in three. Amusan, the world record holder, needs to close fast and she will not as the Olympic champion takes the win. Amusan made a strong start, but ultimately could not overcome the power of Camacho Quinn, finishing second in a time of 12.45, with Tia Jones of the United States taking third place in 12.47 and Jamaica's Brittany Anderson was fifth in 12.59 seconds. The men's 110 meters hurdles was quite an epic race as Commonwealth Games champion Jamaica's Rashid Broadbell pulled off a massive upset and stunned some of the world's best hurdlers, stopping the clock in a new lifetime personal best, dipping below 13 seconds for the first time to claim victory in 12.99 seconds, relegating two-time world champion Grant Holloway, 13.11 seconds of the United States into third place. Holloway's compatriot, Trey Cunningham, claimed silver with a time of 13.10 seconds. Holloway to the first hurdle quickly, but Broadbell right with him, along with Trey Cunningham there in three. Now Holloway to the lead. Can he sustain it to the end as Broadwell starts to close and Broadbell storms to the victory here in a bit of an up. Olympic champion Jamaica's Hansel Parchment finished fourth in a time of 13.13 seconds. Broadbell's performance makes him the third fastest Jamaican man behind Omar McLeod's national record of 12.90 seconds and Hansel Parchment's 12.94 seconds. The men's triple jump was a Cuban 1-2-3 clean sweep. The Cuban trio had the best Caribbean performance of the day, with Andy Diaz Hernandez leading the charge with the best effort of 17.67 meters on his second attempt on the night, while Lazaro Martinez in second with a personal best of 17.50 meters and Jordan Diaz in third with 17.44 meters as they claim the top three spots. The women's triple jump saw Jamaica's Shanika Ricketts leap to 14.64 meters to play second behind world record holder Venezuela's Yulimar Rojas. Ricketts' teammate Kimberly Williams was sixth with 14.12 meters and Dominica's Thea Lafon was ninth, leaping 13.84 meters. Yulimaro has best of two legal jumps, a penultimate effort of 15.31 meters, was good enough to beat Shanika Ricketts in second place. Ukraine's Marina Beck Romanchu finished third with a jump of 14.31 meters. In the men's javelin, Trinidad and Tobago's Keshorn Walcott put up a good effort, but he only managed to finish fourth with a throw of 83.38 meters. The women's 400-meter pulled off another Caribbean clean sweep, 
This time with the World Olympic silver medalist Dominican Republic's Marilady Paulino winning in 49.87 seconds ahead of Barbadian Shade Williams in 49.94 seconds and Dominican Republic's Fiordalisa Kofil in third with a personal best of 50.13 seconds to complete yet another Caribbean clean sweep. Please start this time. Shana Williams, but Paulino has gone really quick. Hard through this first 200 meters. Jody Williams has started quickly right on the inside as well. But it's Paulino's past Candice McLeod. It's all about Paulino, but here comes the Commonwealth Games champion, just two meters down. As they come into the home straight, it's now one. And they're almost on terms with each other here. Paulino will be strong, and Williams is going well, but Paulino's struggling to hang on to this. And Cofield is finishing quickly as well. But Paulino's just got enough to hold off Williams. Under 50 seconds, 59.87. The men's 200 meters saw America's Noah Lyles continuing his undefeated season in the event, as he won in 19.56 seconds to win ahead of his teammate Michael Norman who ran a season's best of 19.76 seconds to play second. Jareem Richards of Trinidad and Tobago was third in 19.95 seconds, while Dominican Republic's Alexander Ogando and Jamaica's Andrew Hudson were fourth and fifth respectively, both being credited with the same time of 20.09 seconds. The richly anticipated women's 100 meter, the world and Olympic podium of Shelley and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hera, and Sharika Jackson did not live up to expectations. Moments before the race, Fraser Price announced that she had to pull out of the meet because of an injury to her hamstring. This made fans very sad, but the show had to continue with the double double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hera and world champion Sharika Jackson. The race was set, but Elaine Thompson here a false started which resulted in her being disqualified. Sharika Jackson was the lone Jamaican left in the race, and things did not go according to plan as she placed second in 10.88 seconds behind Aliyah Hobbs of the United States, 10.87 seconds, with Marie Jose Talou of the Ivory Coast in third with 10.89 seconds. And now they're out and away. Aaliyah Hobbs in lane two. Looks like she's gaining steam here. Can she get to the line ahead of Sharika Jackson? Overall, the meet was a very anticlimactic one for most Caribbean athletes. They will aim to do their best at the penultimate Diamond League meet of the season and earn points to compete at the finals in Zurich, Switzerland. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell for our next video as we cheer on our Caribbean athletes. Until next time, this is Jairi Caribbean.